Hi, welcome to my channel. At kung bago ka lang dito, ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin lang ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong mat tutorial videos. Today, ang pag-aaralan naman natin ay Triangle Proportionality Theorem. At tulad class ng Triangle Angle Bisector Theorem, magagamit din natin itong theorem na ito to find the unknown lengths of portions of the sides of triangles if you know the other three portion. So, ano nga ba class ang Triangle Proportionality Theorem? So, Triangle Proportionality Theorem states that if you draw a line constructed parallel to one side of a triangle intersects the other two sides of the triangle, then it divides those sides proportionally. And it does not matter class kung ang triangle natin ay iskaline, right, or obtuse. For example, dito sa triangle ABC, mag-construct tayo class ng line segment parallel to one side of a triangle. So, segment DE is parallel to segment AC. And according nga class sa triangle proportionality theorem, if a line parallel to one side of a triangle intersects the other two sides, then it divides those sides proportionally. So, ibig sabihin class, yung segment BD over DA ay proportion sa segment BE over EC. So, try natin class, gamitin ito to find the missing length indicated. So, solve for x. Gagawan lang din natin ito class ng proportionality statement. So, dg over ge is equal to dh over hf. Then, sa substitute lang din natin class yung value. So, magiging uh, 15 over x is equal to 10 over 4. Then, apply lang natin class yung cross product property. So, 15 times 4 is equal to 60. And 10 times x is 10x. After that, uh, divide natin class both sides by 10. So, x is equal to 6. Okay, another example. So, gawan lang natin class ulit ng proportionality statement. So, IF over FJ is equal to CE over EJ. Then, substitute natin yung value. 24 over 18 is equal to x plus 2 over x. Then, cross multiply. 24 times x is 24x. And x plus 2 times 18 is equal to 18x plus 36. So, next step natin class, subtract natin both sides by 18x. So, magiging 6x is equal to 36. Then, divide both sides by 6. So, x is equal to 6. And for our last example, number 3. So, wala ulit class. Naka-indicate na rin sa ating triangle. So, direct na yung ating uh, paggawa ng proportionality statement. So, 20 over 8 is equal 3x minus 5 over 10. At kung nagtataka kayo kung saan nang galing class yung 20, Ang ginawa ko, kinuha ko lang yung difference ng 28 and 8 para makuha natin class yung measure dito sa segment na ito. So, next naman ay cross multiplication or cross product property. So, 20 times 10 is 200 and 3x minus 5 multiply to 8 is 24x minus 40. Okay, next step naman class is uh, addition property of equality. Add natin yung both sides na equation by 40. 
So, magiging 240 is equal to 24x. Then, last step naman is divide both sides by 24. So, x is equal to 10. So, hanggang dito na lang class. Kung meron po kayong hindi naintindihan at meron po kayong gustong itanong, ilagay lang sa ating comment section at isa-isa natin niyang sasagutin. Muli, maraming salamat sa panonood. God bless.